Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can create and use application logs in ABAP. So I have already created an own video explaining you what an application log is, how um, you can access the most important transactions, how you can use it and so on. So I will link to this important video if you would like to get to know more information about the application log in general. And in this video, we would like to focus on the other part. So how we can set up application logs, how we can add and create an application log in our ABAP coding. So once again, a small review within the SLG1 transaction there within here, you can basically analyze the application logs. And this is basically what we want to do. So we would like within our ABAP coding, add an own application log entry within here so that anybody else can analyze what is going wrong um, and therefore we're having some logs. Before coding, before creating an other program, we have to make sure that we um, know especially the object or the sub object that we would like to add our application log or if you don't want to use a standard object for that, then you can create also a custom one as you can see within here as well. So therefore we open up the transaction SLG0 transaction. And here you have to keep in mind that the settings you're doing are cross client, so um, not client depending. And here basically, um, you can view and explore the already existing objects or what we are gonna do is we create a new object and we name it set underscore ERP underscore up. We name it for example just ERP up, hit the enter key and then within here we select this entry, we go to sub object and here we click once again to new entries and then we can just enter, for example, sub, um, yeah, sub for ERP up, whatever. Hit the enter key, then we save the settings. So then we um, save this to a transport, a workbench transport. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. And once here you have created an object um, and one or a couple of sub objects, this is perfectly fine. Um, and keep in mind that creating sub objects are optional, but here we have done this. So then the next step is that we go into our ABAP coding, or in this case, I would like to start from scratch. So I create from scratch a new um, program. I call it just set application log. I click on create. So for example, create application log i select it as executable this is fine i create this as a local object in my dollar tmp package and then we are in here here we will include our coding and basically to create application logs to use application logs there we will use a couple of function modules so therefore we open up the se37 um, just to show you um, how they um, look like um, the first one is bal underscore log underscore create so uh, this is important basically to create um, our, our log. So there we include um, all the header information, what kind of object we are using, what kind of sub object and so on. So this is always the first step. Then the next one is this function module is BAL underscore log underscore MSG underscore add. This function module is basically um, relevant to add messages to our application log. So to specify some detailed information and to explain what's going around within this application log. 
Within here, you have to use a message. So with this type, if we have a closer look within here, then you have to use this structure. So you have to specify a message type, message class, uh, probably a number and so on. And if you don't want to use this, then what you can also use instead using, using this function module, you can use this function module. It's the BAL underscore log underscore MSG underscore add underscore free underscore text. Whoa, <laughs> long function module separated by a lot of underscores. And here what I like is that you can directly um, specify the text with just a string that should be output. So this is what I like and uh, think is quite useful. Then after creating our header information, after specifying the text that should be saved and displayed in the application log, we can use or we have to use uh, this function module if you would like to save your application log on the database. So this is uh, important to do. And here you can uh, specify the importing parameter, save all to save all of your application logs. Because if you would not call this function module, then your application log won't be saved on the database. You have also the possibility to show the application log to the user or after calling um, your program. But this is relevant if you would like to uh, save and show your application log in the SLG0 or SLGD transaction. So keep this in mind. And what I've also meant is basically this function module, the BAL underscore DSP underscore log underscore display. This is basically the function module to just call a application log. So this is what I've meant. You don't specifically have to save your application log to use it. You can just create the application log and directly output it and display it to the user. And basically the first three mentioned function module we will include in our program right now. And if you would like to get to know more information, if you would like to get some sample programs and so on, I would like to open up the SA38, so the other program execution. And within here you have BAL underscore demo, and then just make a wildcard. So um, to this right now, um, and you have to make sure not to uh, forget the S at the beginning. So let's do this once again, S-B-A-L underscore demo. And here you have a lot of useful programs. Um, so based on the description repo title, you can assume what is going to do. Um, you, can, you can explore the coding. So for example, if we just open up the first one and execute this, then here you can make some uh, simple call. And this is what I've meant within here. This won't be saved, just will be called. Um, yeah, here you can see this. And if you would like to analyze this, then you can go, for example, to the SE38, to the ABBA program execution, SBAL underscore demo. And if you click on display, then you can also explore this coding in detail. And here you will find the mentioned function modules once again. So this is always the foundation um, to use application logs. But here, if you would like to get some sample that you can reuse, I highly recommend to explore these example reports and those ending with an S, also quite handy, um, just showing you the ABAP code of the core program um, directly in the ABAP editor. So for example, if you call uh, this with um, F8, then you will not execute the program. You will just execute the ABAP editor and show the coding in here. 
So this is all you need to know for the background. So let's minimize this within here and let's go directly into our coding. As mentioned now within here, I would like to make a sample of creating an ABAP um, application log than before. So once again, um, if you, um, um, in the SLG zero. So we have to make sure that we know our object and our sub object. So this is important that those two we will use. So then let's go once again into the coding. So let's minimize this. So the first we're gonna do is we will define some variables in this case we need basically um, the the log so this is what i've meant with this these include the header information then a um, variable to contain all the handle information so yeah messages and so on and here this is not what we're gonna need if you um, directly call the um, the output structure for um, the message we will directly include the um, string in here and then next what we're gonna use is we will um, save in the header information some relevant information like the object like the sub object and we include also the user and the program name. So those information will be saved in the application log and can be analyzed in the SLG zero transaction. So then next, what we're gonna do is we call basically the log create function module. So this is important. And we passed over the log, so all the header information and we get the log handle that we need later on for adding the text. And this is now what, what we're gonna do. So here we have our MSG add free text. So this is yeah basically what I can recommend. And here we passed over the imported value of the create over to the add free text and within here you can specify a text so for example um, please subscribe this youtube channel thank you by the way if you have not subscribed please subscribe to not miscreate upcoming videos so then this is the text that is being outputted and then last but not least to add this to the application log, we will now save it and we will save all. We're doing a pretty printer and control F2, everything is fine. Control F3 to activate it. And now let's run this. And now um, you don't see anything, but definitely we will explore if this has been um, run successfully with the SLG zero transaction. And here we have to keep in mind, um, I have it already open. So I'm locking this. So SLG zero. Oh, I'm not the SLG zero. Of course, we need the SLG one transaction to analyze it. And now set underscore ERP underscore up with the um, sub object sub. This is what we need. We can leave the other settings or selection criteria as they are Then execute this. And here basically we have our um, application log. So here um, you can see when this has been created by whom, the object, the sub object transaction, application and so on so this is how we have created it and as you can see you um, maybe don't want to call every time those three um, function modules there's also a way that you can use 
to um, make this a little bit faster and therefore I would like to show you um, quite useful classes. So we have within here the CL BAL underscore logger within display. Here you have also the possibility to add messages to the application log and so on. Or, and this is what I will show you, we are having also this class. Um, so here um, we're having the application log object. And here you have also possibilities to create application logs in other object orientation. So let's go directly into decoding. Let's comment this out for one second. And um, yeah, then first what we're gonna do is, so here we would like to create an object, an instance of this class, and it's important to specify the correct object. So we're having this one. And at the next, what we're gonna do is we would like to add the text, and therefore we will call the add status text method Within here, you can also write, um, yeah, this is a message, whatever you want to. And then last but not least, we uh, will add the message basically. And then we will save this. So also specifying the client and doing now shift F1 pretty printer and then control F2, control F3. And by the way, if you would like to see what other problem classes um, you can use, just double click on this one or let's do it on the method directly. So here on the type with double click. So going to the domain always with the forward navigation here, you can see that now one is being used for um, very important. If you would use other values, then those will be shown later on. So then let's go back a couple of steps because now we would like to execute this. Now, again, we won't see anything. And now we're going into the application log with SLG1. Um, so then let's use maybe this one here i have it already open once again slg1 with those criteria and then here basically um you can you can see the message so with double click you can see this is a message and here you can see the application log in here as well also from this class that is that has it being called. So yeah, once again, those are, I think, quite um, useful and important information how we can use the application log in ABAP. If you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections. Please like this video and please do not forget to subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.